Young Biken was in London born, he was a man of high degree. He passed him through many kingdoms great, until he came unto Grand Turkey. He viewed the fashions of that land, their way of worship viewed he. But ante on he o this docks, he wouldn't say much as bow and knee. Which I made him to be taken straight and brought afore their high jury. The savage more did speak up right and made him Michael Lilty three. In ilka shoulder they bored a hole, and in ilka hole they put a tree. They made him to draw carts and wains till he was sick and like to dee. But a young biken was a Christian born, and still a Christian was he. Which I made them put him in prison, strang and cold, and hunger set it three, and fed on naught but bread and water until the day that he might die. In this prison there grew a tree, and it was Uncle Stoughton's strang, where he was chained by the middle until his life was almost gain. The savage Moor had but a doctor, and her name it was Susie Pye, and ilka day as she took the air, the prison door she passed by. But it fell ants upon a day, as she was walking she heard him sing, she listened to his tale of woe, a happy day for young Bichon. My hones they all go masterless, my hawks they flee frae three to three, my youngest brother will air my lands, my native land I'll never see. O oh, were I but the prison keeper, as I'm a lady a high degree, I soon would set this youth at large, and send him to his ain country. She went a wine to her chamber, all oh, nick she never closed her e, and oh, when the morning began to dawn at the prison door, a lane was she. She gied the keeper a piece of gold and money, pieces of white money, to tack her through the bolts and bars, the Lord free Scotland she langed to see. She saw a young biken at the stake, which made her weep most bitterly. Oh, hey, you got any land, she says, or castles in your ain country. It's hey, what would you give to the lady fair, what out of prison would set ye free? It's I hae houses and I hae lands where money castles fair to see, and I would gi all to that lady gay, wa out of prison would set me free. The keeper sin brack off his chains and set Lord Bicon at liberty. She filled his pockets bathed with gold to tack him till his ain country. She took him frae her father's prison and gave to him the best of wine, and a brave health she drank to him. I wish, Lord Bike, and ye were mine. It's seven lang years I'll make a vow, and seven lang years I'll keep it through. If you wed we're not either woman, it's I will wed na man but you. She's ta'en him to her father's port, and gain to him a ship of fame. Farewell, farewell, my Scottish lord, I fear I'll ne'er see you again. Lord Bicon turned him round a boot, and lowly, lowly looted he. Ere seven lang years come to an end, I'll take it to mine ain country. Then when he came to Glasgow toon, a happy, happy man was he. The ladies all around him thranged to see him come free slavery. His mother she had died of sorrow, and all his brothers were dead but he. His lands they all were lee and waste, in ruins were his castles free. Na porter there stood at his yet, na human creature he could see, except the screeching owls and bats, had he to bear him company. But gowd will gar the castles grow, and he had gowd and jewels free, and soon the pages around him thranged, to serve him on their bended knee. His hall was hung with silk and satin, his table rung with mirth and glee. He soon forgot the lady fair, 
that loosed him mowed to slavery. Lord Bacon courted a lady gay, to air wi him his land safe free, ne'er thinking that a lady fair was on her way frae Grand Turkey. For Susie Pye could get no rest, nor day nor nicht could happy be, still thinking on the Scottish laird till she was sick and like to dee. But she has builded a bonny ship, well manned we seamen a high degree, and secretly she stepped on board and bid adieu to her ain country. But when she came to the Scottish shore, the bells were ringing say merrily, it was Lord Bycon's wedding day, we a lady fair a high degree. But sick of vessel was never seen, the very masts were tapped with gold, her sails were made of the satin fine, most beautiful for to behold. But when the lady come on shore, attended we her pages three, her shoon were of the beaten gold, and she a lady of great beauty. Then to the skipper she did say, Can ye this answer gie to me? Where are Lord Bycon's lance braid? He surely lives in this country. Then up he spake the skipper bold, for he could speak the Turkish tongue. Lord Bycon lives not far away, this is the day of his wedding. If ye will guide me to Bycon's, yet I will ye well reward, said she. Then she and all her pages went, a very gallant company. When she came to Lord Bycon's yet, she turled gently at the pin. Say ready was the proud porter to let the wedding guests come in. Is this Lord Bycon's host, she says, or is that noble lord within? Yes, he is gaining to the hall with his brave bride and money ain. You'll bid him send me a piece of bread, but and a cup of his best wine, and bid him mind the lady's love that and still loves him out a pine. Then in and came the porter bold, I what he gave three shouts and three. The fairest lady stands at your yet that ever my twa in did see. Then up he spake the bride's mither, I what an angry woman was she. You micht I accepted her bonny bride, though she'd been three times as fair as she. My dame, your daughter's fair enough, and I the fairer much she be. But the fairest time that e'er she was, she'll not compare with this lady. She has a gold ring on ilka finger, and on her mid finger she has three. She has as Michael gold on her head, as would buy an earldom a land to thee. My lord, she begs some more your bread, but and a cup of your best wine, and bid ye mind the lady's love that ants did low she you to pine. Then up and started Lord Bycon, I what he made the table flee, I would gie all my yearly rent to a Susie Pie come out the sea. Sin up he spake the bride's mither, she was never heard to speak say free. You'll no forsake my a doctor, though Susie Pye has crossed the sea. Take him, take him, your doctor, madam, for she is ne'er the war o' me. She came to me on horseback riding, and she shall gang hame in chariot free. He's tain Susie Pye by the milk white hand, and led her through his hall, say he. You're no Lord Bycon's lawful wife, and thrice you're welcome unto me. Lord Bycon prepared for another wedding, where baith their hearts say for our glee. Says I'll range na mare in foreign lands, since Susie Pye has crossed the sea. Figar or our cooks make ready, and Figar or our pipers play, and Figar trumpets gay through the tune that Lord Bycon's wedded twice in a day.